In this video, we're going to be going over the cost of living in Thailand for us. So right now we're spending about $14 a day, which is a great rate for us because when we do daily rates and we try to find something with a gym or a pool, it tends to run us about $20 to $25. Which, if you don't need all those facilities, you can find much cheaper. Even in this complex, we looked at a different place, which was $7 American, but we're a sucker for a good view, so that's why we took this place. So now that you've seen that beautiful view, I'm going to show you guys what we get for $14 a night, so follow me inside. So here we have a nice big king size bed, which is super comfortable, not too hard at all. We have two nightstand tables. Um, and then if you come over here, we have a little coffee table. We have this awesome couch, also really comfortable, and it actually pulls out and you can make like another big comfortable bed. If you're watching TV or something, it's perfect. And then we have a, just a regular dining room table. Um, we edit and eat and everything there. Um, and then the TV is awesome. It's a little bit diagonal from the couch, but that's totally fine. We just pull the couch over. And then we have two AC units, which is absolutely perfect. It doesn't get too hot in here. We can close the shelf or the big sliding door at night um, and then just have that one running and save power. So then when you come over here, we have this cute kitchen and I love it. It's marble. It has tons of counter space, the whole unit. Um, or cupboard space. The whole unit has a lot of space in general, but we cook on these little cooktops. If you want to make your coffee or tea, you have a kettle, um, and then you have a broom and a mop if you want to do some cleaning. And then we also have a microwave, which I love to make oatmeal, so this is ideal for me. Um, and then the full-size fridge, which is, again, perfect. You can put groceries or whatever you want in it. You don't have that little mini fridge in some hotel rooms, so that's why having a condo is really nice as well. And then we come over here into the entryway and there's a, more, a little bit more storage and then we can just fit all of our shoes here and that's pretty much it for this area. It's absolutely perfect. So back over to the bedroom slash um, bathroom area, we have another closet here with more storage. We have some of our stuff hung up um, and then we walk over to the bathroom and this is the bathroom of my dream that is so cute um, but it basically has everything. Again, you need a toilet, has a little bum sprayer, if that's your cup of tea, not mine, but uh, power to you. And then sink, it has two shower heads. You have your like rainfall shower. Um, and then if you want to store stuff along here, you can as well, it has a little shelving. And that's pretty much our cute little bathroom. Connected to the pool, there's even a sauna. It's so relaxing down there. I love going from the pool to the sauna, from the pool, and then showering off and having an amazing day. So now that we've talked about the cost of rent here in Thailand, now it's time for some food, water. We're at our favorite little place that we've been enjoying here in Aoning. So and it's good. It's the Dua restaurant. Yes. I just ordered the seafood curry powder on rice, which is like one of my favorite dishes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got a Pad Ka Pao guy. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, surprise, <laughs> extra spicy. So we'll see how that turns out. Oh, I'm out. so hungry. I'm so excited. <laughs> so we just got our Nam King and Nam water. A lot of these little restaurants you'll find will give you free water, which is a nice bonus because then you're not dipping into any of your water funds if that's important to you. So a good little tip there. Now that we're talking about water, we have a five liter jug that we go to a water refill station. It's one bottle a liter. And if you drink like five liters a day, this will amount to like $5 American a month. And five liters of water may seem like a lot, but you have to remember you're using that for things like cooking, making coffee, doing tea, everything like that. And if you don't have the luxury of finding these water refill stations, but by the way, you can like look on Maps Me. They are, they're around. But uh, if you don't have the luxury, you'll be going to Lotus 7-Eleven, any of those places, and your bill will get up to like 30 bucks American having to buy it from those locations. Yeah. Still affordable, but definitely better to do the refill stations if you can. <laughs> we just got our meals. Look at how generous these portions are. Yeah. They're such good portions, and you need to get the fish sauce with, with chilies. chilies. So it good. adds such a nice kick. Oh. Looks delicious. And when you're saving money, like my dish is 40 baht, which is under $1.50 American, there's no loss in flavor. This is just as amazing as any other dish in Thailand. I love this. Yeah, same with mine. Kit <laughs> tanka? 
So we just finished lunch and typically in the morning I'll have a built bar before I go work out. Chase usually fasts so he doesn't eat anything. Um, so we just finished lunch now and it was a hundred baht for the two of us. That's like three bucks American. It's such a good price, such a good price and we love this little place. <laughs> so we will see you tonight for dinner. Welcome to Johnny's Pizza. <laughs> On average, we try and spend about $16 a day, which gives us about 500 American per month. But sometimes we get to spend a little bit more and we get this. But we make sure to yeah. fit it in our budget, so. Yeah, some days are about $8 and then some days are a little over 16. Good thing I had safety wing. For as little as $42 American, you can get four weeks of this travel insurance. I had no issues getting into Thailand with this insurance. They had the $100,000 COVID insurance. I have nothing but high recommendations for them. And that's why I became an ambassador. If you wanna check them out down in the description, I have a link there you can click. And if you end up buying the insurance, we'll end up getting a small commission and you'll help us out at no extra cost to you. So after that brief safety wing interruption, I want to bring you to the phone section of this uh, video. And we got unlimited internet by going straight to the AIS store. They got us four megabytes per second for $6 a month. This is so cheap, so amazing. I can even play mobile games on this internet speed. So we rented this bad boy for a hundred bucks a month and we're driving a decent amount. And for $20 the whole month, we can go around everywhere and that's only if you fill up at gas stations if you're going to fill up from the little bulbs on the side of the road expect to pay double the amount of money well sometimes you can find these 10 bought laundry stations this is 30 cents this is rare this is very rare and this is absolutely amazing if you can find these this is where we've been doing our laundry um but we'll go show you another unit which is a little bit more pricey now that we're over here at the lottery these are the prices up here for washing. It's a little bit more, but it's not too bad. One cool thing is, is if you don't want to do your own laundry, you can go to a place just like this and it's 40 baht per kilogram. That's per kilogram. It does add up a little bit, but that's only $1.25 if you really don't want to do your own laundry and it'll all be done quick and easy for you. All right, all right, all right. We've talked about everything you're going to need to live in Thailand, eat, enjoy, have a great time. One thing you can't dodge is you need to get a visa. Either you're getting a tourist visa or right now there's the COVID extension. I don't know how long that's gonna go on, but every single time you extend that, that's gonna be $60 American. Now, if you add up all the things that we've talked about in this video, it'll end up being about 1100 to 1600. And this fluctuates depending on where you're staying in Thailand, but this is just the bare bones, just living, eating and getting around. If you wanna do excursions and all that stuff, we're gonna talk about that in the next scene. Of course, sitting poolside's awesome, but you're probably gonna to wanna to go out and do something. We have $30 a week set aside so we can go to places like Rayleigh. By the way, we just did a video on that. I'll put it on the screen if you wanna check that out. But like if you're going kayaking, park fees, any of those things, they cost money. So we usually try and have about 120 to 200 for the whole month so we can go out actually see Thailand. So of course all the extras can add up like bug spray, like sunscreen, beer, cocktails, all that stuff. Shelby loves getting her nails done twice a week, which adds up to about 20 to $40 American, depending on where you go. And she likes getting a massage once a week, which is about 35 American. So all in all, we're trying to stay under 2000 American for our budget a month to live in Thailand. Good thing I had safety wing.